Como está YouTube? <laughs> YouTube. Yeah, it's YouTube. We're talking to YouTube. Oh, okay. Como está, everyone? Como está? My name is Rob. And I'm Ange. And today we're going to be learning Tagalog with me. Him. <laughs> <laughs> if you're new to this series of videos, what we do is we go through a few uh, Tagalog words. Um, I'm learning Tagalog. Ange here is my teacher and mentor and also <laughs> wife slash wife at the same time. Obviously she was born from the Philippines so she's here today to help me learn uh, the national language of the Philippines which is Tagalog. So Ange, what are we going to be covering today? Today we're going to be learning how to say what? What? <laughs> Why? Where? And when? In Tagalog. In Tagalog. Ooh, okay. The reason why we're doing this um, video for this particular purpose is these are some of the things that you need to know in everyday life I guess like if you're going to be talking to people and communicating to people mm -hmm. so I thought it was an important part piece of the puzzle all right Ange um, so you mentioned before we started with uh, what so let's start with what so what in Tagalog is ano 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 a n o a n o okay ano ano mm. so if you want to say what is this? <laughs> ano ito? Then. Ah, uh, ito. So ito means this. Yep. Then you say, if you want to say what's this, then you say ano ito. Ano ito? Water. Water. Mmm. What what is water in Tagalog? Too big. Ah, too, too big. <laughs> How do you say that? <laughs> too big. Too, too big, big, like two big. pack. Too big. <laughs> Too big, too big. Too big. It's like saying too big. Something's too big. Like me, too yeah, big. He's too big. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes I am. Water is too big. <laughs> In Tagalog. <laughs> All right, so I'm having too much fun with that one. <laughs> let's let's uh, change it up. So how about um, what's your name? That's something that you use with what? Yep. So if you see someone and you want to ask for their name, then you say, "What's your name?" Then you will say, "Anong pangalan mo?" Anong pangalan? Anong pang Anong? Anong? Which is like a longer version of "ano," but it's just to connect it to other words. Ah. So okay. Yeah. The um, main word is "ano," which ano? means "what," mm -hmm. but to connect it to the to other words, you will say "ano." Mm -hmm. Pangalan mo. Pangalan means name. Mo means you. So, what's ah. your name? Ano? Ano? Anong? Pangalan? Pangalan? Mo. Mo. Ano? Pangalan mo. Ano? Pangalan mo. Ano? Pangalan mo. Ano? Pangalan mo. Is what's your name? Ano? Pangalan mo. I'm Ange. Mm. Ako si Ange. Ako si. So is that how you respond to Anong Pangalan Mo? What is yes. your name? So, ako si Ange. What does uh, si mean? We, I think we've done uh, Ako in a previous video, so just check that out as our first video. What does uh, it's like, um, si mean? It's like a translation of is. Ah, my name is, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. It's like my name is Ange. It's like Ako si. Anong Pangalan Mo? Uh, ako si Rob? Yep. Ako si Rob. Yeah. I call si Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you do it? You would yell at them then? And do like no. big arm gestures to scare them off? No. No, that's not how you do it. Oh, well. Give it a try. Okay, so we'll move on. <laughs> Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> so now we've learned what in Tagalog? What's what again in Tagalog? I know. Okay, good work. So now we're gonna learn why. This, this is a good one for you. <laughs> At, the, at home, she asks me why all the time. So this is a good one for me to learn. Why in Tagalog means bucket. Not the bucket Like the bucket? <laughs> Not bucket. the bucket of water, Like bucket? But just bucket. 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 The ba is a B. Bucket. Bucket. Very, very sharp at the end with kit, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So you say bucket. Mm, bucket. What's your example, Rob? Well, Andrew's been yawning um, all, all day long and in the car ride over here, so I would say, uh, why are you tired? 
I'm just not heck. <laughs> you just not heck. <laughs> then you say, Bakit pagod ka? Bakit pagod ka? Okay, Bakit pagod ka? Okay, so. It's like, Bakit pagod ka? It's like, Why tired you? Okay, why tired you? So, so, ka was like you, right? Mm -hmm. So that means pagod is tired. Yes. So how do you break that down? How do you say pagod? Pa pagod. 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 So it's like P-A-H kind of G-O-D or something. P-A-G-O-D. P-A-G. Pa, but you go like pa. Pagod. Bakit pagod ka? Uh, so why are you tired? Well, let's, um, let's, let's do another example. Hey. Devil. No, it's on it. Yeah. <laughs> teeth situation fixed up, guys. My teeth game, 100%. Oh, we getting more light. Yay. Oh, yay. Where? The next one is where? In Tagalog, where is Saan? Saan. 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 So that's the exact translation of where. Where. Okay. In Tagalog. So say if, um, if you just like up, got out of this table, or stood up, just started walking off. How would I say like, um, where are you going? You'd say, saan ka pupunta? Saa... Saan? Saan? Ka? Ka... Pupunta? Pupunta. So what is, um, so ka means you, mm -hmm. like before, like yeah. I will use before. What is, uh, so saan ka pupunta? Does that mean going? Yes. Oh, yeah, so it's a future yeah. tense. Future okay. tense, going. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's basically, like you're going somewhere. Yeah, yeah, you're like, gonna go. Where are you gonna be going? Yeah, where are you gonna be going? Okay. Yeah, so, so let's do that again. So, um, saan, saan ka pupunta? Pupunta. Pupunta. It's like, saan ka pupunta? Saan Kapupunta. Mm -hmm. It's hard for me to say, just trying to get it all yeah, in my head. It's the, it's, yeah, it's just the way that you break up words and where you have the intonation up. Mm. So, saan kapupunta? You just quickly mentioned before, like how would how would someone respond to saan ko pupunta? You can say, pupunta ako sa mall or pupunta sa mall. ako sa... Yeah. So, School. Pu so, pupunta we mentioned before means going mm -hmm. and then you went Ka, which means me, I guess in this in this context. So I'm asking I, someone. I'm yeah, asking ask you. you. Yeah, yeah. So I am going to the mall, right? So that's how you that's how you explain that. Okay. So l let's do let's do another example of where and where. So we could say saan ang mall. Mm. Okay. So what's the English translation of that? It's, Sorry. It's basically where is the mall where is the mall okay yep yeah. so saan ang mall ang mall ang, ang mall ang means the saan ang mall the? ang ang is basically translated to the the okay ang the so saan ang mall so say if someone's like walking like on the street near the mall yep yeah. and you go you walk up to a person in the philippines and go saan Saan ang mall? They probably point you to the direction. They point you? Doon. Doon? What does doon mean? There. There? Okay. okay. Saan ang mall? Doon. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you, Ange, Ange did something with her lips there. So what, what's doon. this? Doon. Mm. Ooh. You point to the doon. So that, that's a way of communicating as well, communicating via lip. It's like via Skype, but via lip. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so, we're moving to the fourth W, and what is that W, Ange? When. When. So we're going to be doing when. What would, what would be a usual thing um, to say when, Ange? When. So, let's say, let's um, talk about what is the translation of oh, when yeah. first. Yep. So, when in Tagalog is kailan. Ka. Ka. I. I. Lan. Lan. Kailan. Kailan. So, um, a lot of people say kailan, but um, a lot of people also say, you might say hear people say kailan or kailan. It's just because people have gotten used to kind of shortening the word it's just for easier way of pronunciation instead of saying kailan they would just say kailan you know uh, if they're being lazy yeah yeah so like yeah to make it a bit short yeah kailan yeah. yeah so you probably hear it quite often but mm. um it basically just means kailan is when 
I should I should know this, and if I don't know this, I'll probably be in a bit of trouble. But uh, Kailan Ang birthday, Angeline. Mo. 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 Meaning you. Kailan ang birthday mo? Long, long time ago. Kailan ang birthday mo? Means when's your birthday? Kailan ang birthday mo? Secret. Secret. <laughs> <laughs> Denied. <laughs> so let's summarize what we've learned today, Rob. Right. Um, how do you say what? Ano. Why? Bakit. Where? Saan. When. Kailan. Yay, good yeah. work. Alright guys, that's it for today. Uh, we finished up on the four W's. Why, what, where and when. Or also known as Ano, Bakit, Saan, Kali, Kai, Kailan. Get, I can't get that last one. It's still, still tricky. I've got to work on that one. We hope you enjoy the video. We've got these coming up every week, so please stay tuned. Uh, if you've got any comments, just shoot them down in the comment section down below. We really appreciate your support, and thanks for watching the video. Bye, Bye. Bye. Bye.